This is Marketing 3600, Section 007. And we are Team 6, which is includes Spencer, Austin, Carolyn, Cody, Karen, uh, Seth, and myself, Robert. As a team, we decided to create a product development and took an existing product, which is clogging shoes. And we developed ways to improve the shoes to unite cloggers, which where our name came from. And this is our logo, which we want all of our um, cloggers out there to be able to recognize us and to find us on social media sites and to unite with us. Um, now, Austin will now give us a brief um, history about clogging. <clears throat> exactly. Like Robert said, a lot of people um, have perhaps never heard of clogging, but clogging is a style of dance that is very similar to tap. Um, it came from the Appalachian Mountains over in Ireland, and it came over to the, to the U.S., where there are people here in Utah, Idaho, California, over on the east, and there are a lot of cloggers that range from ages, start, they start as young as three years old clogging, and there are many people who are even 50 years old that are still clogging. So there are definitely lots of cloggers here um, that would be interested in our product. Um, another one of the biggest differences about tap, I'll just show you a shoe. Um, it looks like this, but the biggest difference is that there are two taps um, on a clogging shoe, whereas a tap um, shoe only has one metal tap. So it's a different sound, um, different percussive rhythms that come with it. It's definitely more up and less grounded than tap is. But like I said, there are a lot of cloggers um, who'd be very interested in what we have to offer here at Cloggers United, and that's what we are excited to, to offer for them. So up next, um, Cody is gonna tell us a little bit more about the problem and what we are trying to fix with our product. So the problem that our team found is the quality of the clogging shoes that are currently being made. Um, to get a good pair of shoes, you're going to spend like $140. Um, but what we found is that a lot of those manufacturers are only spending $15 to make those shoes. Uh, so it really, they're getting a 90% profit margin, which on average, uh, shoe companies are only making about 40% profit margins. So really, they have a lot of movement on their price. Um, and yet they're still just make, making them for such a cheap amount. And Caroline's going to go through uh, the problem of the quality of the shoes they're making. Okay, yeah. So like Cody was saying, these companies are making a 90% profit margin. Um, it costs them $15 to make these shoes, but they're charging them for so much more, $140 for shoes that cost them $15 to make. Um, so the problem that we see in this is that these customers are um, so dissatisfied because um, they pay $140 for what are supposed to be quality shoes. You would think $140, you would get a good, solid pair of shoes, um, but you're getting a cheap $15 pair of shoes. And the problem with this is that these cloggers are having to um, replace their clogs every six months about um, because the leather is um, not good genuine leather and um, the the sewing and everything that keeps the shoe together it will fall apart and break at the seams and things like that in a matter of six months which shouldn't be the case um, so our company personally wants to um, make a change to that and bring more satisfaction to these cloggers um, by making quality shoes that they can keep for longer than six months and not have to repair them every six months. Um, so Karen is going to talk about possible specific solutions um, to the problems that me and Cody talked about. Yeah, so with Cloggers United, um, our focus is to increase the durability um, of the clogging shoes. And we think that the best way to do this is through um, more durable materials and an improved manufacturing process, uh, namely through the use of leather, of real leather, and reinforced seams. 
And our goal is to have the shoes last longer than the typical six months that the other shoes, um, our competitor shoes, um, last. Um, but we still want to keep the production costs low, um, both for our own benefit and for the benefit of our customers. And we believe that the best way to do this is to outsource um, the labor to Mexico. Um, again, to, sorry, <laughs> sorry, can I restart? Uh, I'm going to restart. Okay, so, hold on. Yeah, so with Cloggers United, um, we want to increase the durability of the clogging shoes. Um, and we think that the best way to do this is through the use of both more durable materials and an improved manufacturing process, um, namely with real leather and reinforced thieves. And our goal is to make the shoes last um, past the six months that our competitors' shoes typically last. Um, to help the cloggers um, use them past the point of being broken into. Um, now, but we still want to keep costs low, and we believe the, that the best way to do this is to outsource labor to Mexico, um, which will not only benefit us, but the customers. Um, and we believe that by lowering our profit margin, um, we will make up for it through increased um, customer loyalty. Um, and like Austin said earlier, um, the age range for cloggers is very broad, but we wanna target specifically the younger generation, eight through 24, um, because we think that that's the best time to develop that customer loyalty for the rest of their lives. Now I'm gonna let Austin get a little bit more in depth here. Exactly, so like Karen was talking um, about, is we, we really think that by increasing the durability and the quality of our product, we will be able to acquire that customer loyalty early on and be able to main, maintain that throughout their, their lifetime of clogging. So a couple key areas that we are looking to reinforce would be here on the front, which we solved with a more durable leather. And another area that always tends to, to break is here right along this seam, along this seam, and sometimes even this heel will completely blow out. So we want to make sure we can reinforce those seams um, make those key areas far more durable so that people are way more loyal to our product and that customer satisfaction goes up as well, well, but also for a lower price so that people are completely happy with us um, here at Cloggers United and we can help them um, have a clogging shoe that will last for many years to come. So Seth is just going to tell, tell you guys a little bit more about our team um, and exactly what is in it for you guys um, as you go in on this business venture with us. Okay, thank you, Austin. I'm here to talk a little about, bit about the numbers and the return on each pair of cloggers. So the cost of materials, if we were to include real le leather, which we plan on, um, to make these, these clogging shoes is around $30. That includes you know, the real leather, it includes um, the glue, all sorts of materials that goes into making a pair of clogging shoes. Now, the, the price that um, other clogger uh, manufacturers are selling these for $15. So we're gonna sell them a little higher. We're gonna get the customer some durability and some good materials in their shoes. Um, if our team is looking to sell each pair at around $110, we're still looking at a high rate of return with a 70% profit margin at that price. Now the original profit mar margin that these companies are making are 90%, but we're willing to take a little bit of a hit on the profit margin to be able to give the customers what they want, give them durability, and make it a little bit more affordable for them. And well, when we do this, we, we also make them more loyal and we'll get loyalty customers. Um, th this will make our product desirable and um, we'll have all real, real materials and it will be good, so. So Cloggers United's team. So our team is very capable. We're eager to get started. We've been talking about this a lot. Um, this is our business idea and our team is very passionate and we have a vision of affordable and durable clogging shoes. Now, Spencer is gonna talk to you guys a little bit about our offer. 
Okay, so we would like to offer you a 25% stake in our company for an investment of $1 million. Um, this $1 million will go towards buying uh, leather and all of the starting costs to get this company up and running. And we would like to ask you, will you invest in Cloggers United?